This is Ken Jobst with Inspirational Moments. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 through 6 reads as follows. Coming to him as a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. You also, as living stones, are being built up in a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Christ Jesus. Therefore, it is also contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. We've been considering the use of the term precious in 1 Peter. When I think of precious stones, my mind turns to rubies and sapphires, emeralds and diamonds. I think of color, cut, clarity, carat weight. Gemstones are fascinating to me. They're one of those things that really captures my attention. But Peter has in mind living stones, the living stone of Jesus Christ who was despised and rejected by men, but who became the chief cornerstone that we may, as living stones, be built up into a spiritual house with Christ. My next door neighbor when I was growing up was a preacher and a bricklayer. He was actually much more than a bricklayer. He was a corner man. That meant while the others might be working quickly to lay a course of bricks, his responsibility was to be sure that the corners were right, that they were plumb and that they were true. Because if the corners aren't right, the wall can't be right. And if the wall isn't right, the building won't be right. It all comes back to the corner. The secret of a good building, he told me, was to start out with a true cornerstone. Build on that true cornerstone. The cornerstone sets the standard for the building. And thus, the cornerstone is precious. Well, that's true with life as well. Start with the cornerstone of Jesus Christ. Then you'll have a building that can withstand anything that comes along. Wind, hail, storm, flood, you name it. Your house will stand strong if it's built on the foundation of the cornerstone of Jesus Christ. With inspirational moments, this is Ken Jobst. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.